Hello, 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 hello. Can you hear me? Hello. I'm Ben Kingsley and this is my career in the four minutes. Well, you started mm. with Gandhi, but what you're missing out is 15 years in the theatre. Yeah. And it's 15 years playing. I've done 17 of Shakespeare's 27 plays. They weren't all in that first 15 years, but a lot of them were. So Shakespeare puts men and women on epic landscapes. And, and with certain of his characters, he endows them with depths of philosophy and intelligence and um, reflecting their age and society brilliantly. Without my 15 years in the theatre, basically playing Shakespeare, I would not have had a clue as to how to approach the epic destiny of Mahatma Gandhi. That they all came from my work in Shakespeare and Jack Briley's brilliant script and Richard Attenborough's choice of a guy who spent 15 years perfecting his craft in front of a live audience. Now, Stephen and I met and uh, Stephen's word for um, my character was the conscience and my word for my character Isaac Stern was witness that's why that's how we shook hands across the desk on basically choosing the same word that I had to be the witness or the conscience of something indescribable and Stephen had to put that which is indescribable onto the screen and I believe he succeeded Don Logan in Sexy Beast, I realized, was a, a compulsive abuser. You have to find a, an engine, a motor, an energy, however sour and, and, and destructive that energy is, to propel your performance and give it layers and give it truth. So I didn't play Don as a villain. That would be the wrong way. I recognized in the script that Don was an abused child who had never been healed and would go on to abuse others for the rest of his life. And that, I'm afraid, is one of the truths of the society we live in. Marty directs, Scorsese directs like a lover, um, a stern, tough lover, in that it's unsentimental, that it's very caring, inspiring, stimulating, He's a great storyteller, a great raconteur, um, and he loves to put um, beautiful human stories onto the screen. And the two things that that I think, one of the two things that are, those films have in common is that Scorsese is very skilled, which brings me back to Iron Man 3. Scorsese is very skilled at putting male, masculine, male vulnerability on the screen. Male vulnerability. Very rare to see that on the screen. Scorsese is brilliant at doing that. Iron Man 3, uh, once we're on the set, uh, uh, we go, you know, from where we're, wherever we're staying to the trailer, we get prepared, we go to various departments, makeup, costume, we're in the zone with Shane Black. We're in the zone, in the creative zone. The rest of the world does not exist. When, when I'm one-on-one when I'm -on -one with my fellow actors, it's as if with a great director and a great set, you're the only people in the universe. Um, and it's an exhilarating, extraordinary feeling. So none of the outside world, expectations, pressure, none of it entered the set. We were wonderfully looked after and, and fostered and cherished by everyone on the set, the directors, the producers, the writers, all there to say, let's get through another great day of filmmaking.